Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Deanna, and this is Storybook Fun for children three, four, and five years old. We're going to start off by doing our good morning song, which we do in sign language. Sign language is a great literacy tool because it helps children connect words to meanings. It looks like this. We're going to go from our chin to our palm. That means good. You slide your hand into the crook of the elbow and your, the sun comes up. That means morning. Let's try it. Good morning. Good morning. Now the sign for say, you go from your chin out. Say. Say. All right, let's go. Good morning, good morning, good morning, now we'll say. Good morning, good morning, we'll nod our heads this way. Good morning, good morning, good morning, now we'll say. Good morning, good morning, we'll wave our hands this way. Good morning, good morning, good morning, now we'll say. Good morning, good morning, we'll throw a kiss this way. One hand, other hand. Now both hands, a big kiss for the world. You ready? Yay! So today we have a silly theme and our sign for silly looks like this. You make the letter Y, you take your thumb by your nose and you wiggle it. Silly! Can you do that? Silly! That's right. Now silly starts with the letter S. And S makes this sound. S like a snake. Or like sound. Or like smile. All right. Well, now we're going to do our letter activity. And I want everybody to go ahead and stand on up. And I'm going to have us slide to the side. Wait, slide and side both start with the letter S. It looks like this. You ready? Slide S with me. Slide S with me. One more. Slide S with me. Good job. Okay, now we're going to become a seesaw. So I want you to put your arms straight out by your side. The middle of you is the fulcrum. It does not move, but your arms will. Looks like this. Seesaw S with me. Seesaw S with me. Are you seesawing? Seesaw S with me. That was fabulous. Stupendous even. All right, one more thing. We're going to strum our air guitar. So everybody get your guitar going and we're going to strum. You ready? Strum S with me. Strum S with me. Really go. Strum S with me. Oh, superb. That was fabulous. All right, everybody take a deep breath in. Exhale, we'll blow it out, sit down, making that S sound. I also want you to notice that the letter S, both capital and lowercase, look exactly the same, except for one is smaller. Pretty cool, huh? That doesn't happen with all the letters. Well, for our story today, I have brought some special friends for you. They're very excited to be here, and they can't wait to help me tell this story. Big bad wolf, but he really isn't 
big or bad, he's nice and cuddly. And I just, I just love him so much that I, I just have to give him a great big kiss. I hate it when you do that. I'm sorry. I just, I love you so much. Yeah, but you don't have to kiss me. You can just, you know, come close. Yeah, yeah. What are we doing here? Well, Petunia, we're going to tell the story of the three little pigs. Oh, that's right. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Are you ready, Wolfie? Yeah, I was born ready. Okay, well, once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived with their mommy pig. Oh yeah, I love my mommy pig. Well, one day, Mommy Pig told them, you know, you guys aren't such little pigs anymore. Actually, you're big and full grown and it's time for you to go on and build, go out of the house and, and build your own homes. Wait, is she kicking us out? No, Petunia, she's not kicking you out, but the pigs were grown. They need to go off on their own and have their own families and lives. Oh, okay. Well, the first little pig decided that he was going to build his house out of water. It was going to be this big fountain of water. All four walls were going to be running water. He was so excited. Wait, what? What are you saying? The first pig didn't build his house out of water? Well, what did he build it out of? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Really? got it wrong. Yes, maybe so. All right, well, the first little pig built his house out of sticks. Yeah. Yeah, and it had nice windows, and then the air could flow through. It was lovely. Well, as soon as he'd finished building it, the big bad wolf came by. Knock, 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 knock. Uh, who is it? It's me, the big bad wolf. And, and I want to come in. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 no. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, I won't let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Well, you just try it. So he did. Can you guys help the wolf? He huffed and he puffed. And he blew the first little pig's house down. Wait, what? I'm sorry, Petunia. I worked really hard on building that house. It's just how it happens sometimes. That's the story. Well, the first little pig ran to the second little pig's house. Now the second little pig built his house out of flowers. Ooh, that would smell nice. Wait, what? Oh, come on, you really don't think it was flowers? All right, will you tell me, what was it? Oh, wood. Well, I suppose that's more appropriate. Okay, so the second little pig built his house out of wood. Yeah, and it was strong, and there were some, some locks on the door too, so that the wolf couldn't come. Well, just then, the big bad wolf knocked on the door. No, 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 no. Who's there? It's me, the big bad wolf. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 no. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. I won't let you in, no how, uh-uh. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Just try it. Okay, maybe you guys can help. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the second little pig's cows down. Wait, hold the phone. Now, I worked really, really hard on that house. Yeah, she did. I'm sorry, Petunia, you guys. This is just how the story goes. Oh, man. Well. The second little pig ran to the third little pig's house. Now, the third little pig was gonna build
sold his house out of feathers. What? Oh, come on. Really? Well, what did the third little pig build his house out of? Bricks. Okay. Bricks. We'll try that one. Third little pig built his house out of bricks. He used lots of mortar and he made sure it was really strong. He put in a video camera phone so that he didn't have to say who's there and he would know exactly who was coming to his house. Well, not soon after, there was a knock on the door. Knock, 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 knock. Who's, oh wait, I don't have to say that. Oh, yes, hello, Mr. Wolf. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 no. Not throw the hair on my chinny chin chin. I won't let you in. No how, no way, forget it. Uh uh, not! Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. Yeah, you just try it. So the wolf huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed. But he could not blow the third little pig's house down. Yay! Yay! We won! And then the poor hungry wolf had to go away without any dinner. I'm hungry. I'm starving. Oh! Is he really that hungry? Well, Petunia, it's possible. I don't want him to be hungry. Well, what do you think you might do? Well, what if he, he hates something besides pigs? I don't know, you'll have to ask him. Oh, Mr. Wolf, stop. What, what do you want? Um, um, we don't have any pork for you. We don't want to be eaten, but how would you like to try something else? Like what? I don't know. How about some spaghetti? I never had it. All right, hold on. Let me get a little bit and put it through this little slot in the door and you see what you think. Mmm, that's good. Okay, hold on. I'll look at you a whole plate. Mm. All right, now, you got to stop trying to eat us. And if you do, we'll put a plate of food through every single day and you'll have something to eat. What? Thank you. That's delicious. I, nobody's ever been that nice to me before. <sighs> and so then the three little pigs and the wolf had something they all wanted and needed. The end. So now we're going to go on. You know, singing is a wonderful literacy tool because it helps slow down the pace of language. And sometimes songs have vocabulary that your children wouldn't hear every day. And so it helps to build that. So we're gonna sing. Let's do the brush your teeth song. You ready? When you wake up in the morning, it's a quarter to one, and you just wanna have a little fun. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning, it's a quarter to two, and you just want to find something to do. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning, it's a quarter to three, and your mind starts humming a twiddly dee. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning, it's a quarter to four, and you think you hear a knock on your door. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning, it's a quarter to five, and you just can't wait to come alive. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. Oh, excellent.
Excellent, you guys. Okay, now we're gonna do just a little bit of counting. Are you ready? One little silly calling out moo. Along came another, and then there were two. One plus one equals two. Two little sillies chasing down a bee. Along came another, and then there were three. One, two, three, and two plus one equals three. Three little sillies giggling to the store. <laughs> Along came another, and then there were four. That's right. Three plus one equals four. Four little sillies feeling so alive. Along came another, and then there were five. You got it. Four plus one equals five. Five little sillies, each one a good friend. There are no others. So that is the end. Yay! Good job. And parents, that's our sign for the end. All done. Finished. Okie dokie. Well, now we have another story. And this is a, a, just a fun told story. A long time ago, dogs and cats were the very best of friends. Why, they did everything together. They took naps together. They played together. They ate together. They just had such a good time. Their favorite thing, though, was eating ham. I know, kind of a strange thing for a dog or a cat, but they loved ham. And one day, dog said to cat, <laughs> Hey, cat, I've got some money, and you've got some money. If we put our money together, we could go to the store and buy ourselves a whole ham. I don't know if you know how big a whole ham is, but it's quite large, and it's just got this tiny little bone in it. That's what they did. They went to the store, and they bought themselves a whole ham. But that ham was so big that they couldn't carry it all. Not one of them could carry it all the way home by themselves. So as friends often do, they took turns. Dog took the first turn. He picked up that ham, and he put it on his shoulder, and he started to sing a happy little dog song. Our ham, 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 our ham. Well, after a while, he got tired and he put the ham down. And then Cat picked it up. But she sang a very different song. My ham, my ham, my was thinking about that, but he wasn't quite sure. He thought maybe she just, you know, was just an accident. So he picked up the ham, decided he would teach by example. And he started to sing his happy little dog song. Uh, our ham, 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 our ham. And when he got tired, he put it back down, and Cat picked it up. Now, Dog's watching her very carefully this time, and Cat sings, My ham, my ham, my, 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 my ham. And she puts it down. Well, this time, Dog has to say something. He says, Cat, what are you doing? You know, we went to the store together, we put our money together, we bought the ham together, we're carrying it home together. Why are you singing my ham? It's our ham. And then he picked it up and sang his little happy dog song again. 
Our him, 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 our him. And when he put it down, now he didn't take his eyes off Cat. And Cat picked up that ham, and she just gave him a little sidelong eye and sang, My ham, my ham. And right at that moment, Cat walked by a tree. She ran straight up that tree to the very tippy top branches. And what do you think she did next? She began to eat that ham. She took her time and dogs down there, the bottom barking his little head off. What are you doing up there, cat? Half of that ham is mine. Don't you dare eat my half of that ham. Oh, cat, what are you doing? You better leave some of that for me. But you know what? Cat did not. No, she ate every little bit of that ham. For herself and she got down to that little old ham bone and do you think that she dropped that down for dog no she did not she licked that ham bone clean and then she dropped it down for dog whoa dog was furious Ooh, cat you may be up that tree now but when you come down, because you have to come down sometime, I'm going to get you. And that, my friends, is why dogs chase cats to this very day. The end. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Now, remember when I said that sometimes songs have words that you might not hear in everyday life. This next song is one of those. Um, and the word that it, you might not have heard of before is giddy. Giddy, what a wonderful word. I am absolutely giddy to be here with you today. We're gonna sing Boom Boom. I hope some of you know it and can sing with me. Boom Boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Boom, boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Giddy and foolish all day long. Boom, boom, ain't it great to be crazy? A horse and a flea and three blind mice sat on the curbstone shooting dice. The horsey slipped and fell on the flea. Whoop, said the flea, there's a horse on me. Boom, boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Boom, boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Giddy and foolish all day long. Boom, boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Way down south where bananas grow, an ant stepped on an elephant's toe. The elephant cried with tears in his eyes. Why don't you pick on someone your size? Boom, boom. Ain't it great to be crazy? Boom, boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Giddy and foolish all day long. Boom, boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Eli, Eli, he sells socks. A dollar a pair, but five cents a box. The longer you wear them, the shorter they get. You put them in the water and they don't get wet. Boom, boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Boom, boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Giddy and foolish all day long. Boom, boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Way up north where there's ice and snow, a penguin lived and his name was Joe. He got so tired of black and white, he wore pink pants to the dance last night. Boom, boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Boom, boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Everyone, giddy and foolish all day long. Boom, boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Oh, good job, you guys, good job. So before we go, I have a couple of book recommendations for you. 
for a silly theme. Um, one is called Gorgonzola, a very stinky saurus, and it is by Margie Palatini, who also has written a ton of wonderful books. One called Goldie and the Three Hairs, and she also has Piggy Pie, which might be for slightly older children, okay? Piggy Pie, wonderful. Then we also have Silly Sally by Audrey Wood, and Audrey Wood has written a ton of great books for kids, so take a look at her books. And of course, this one by Jimmy Kimball, The Serious Goose, which is also quite fun. We'll do our goodbye song now. You guys remember that? You remember our sign for thank you? Thank you, right? Our hands say thank you, clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you, tap, tap, tap. Clap, 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 tap, tap, tap. We turn around, we touch the ground. Now with a bow, say thank you now. Thank you, bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to find out when we have new fun and informative videos for you. Orange County Library System is your place to learn, grow, connect.